Hi Neil. Hi John. Welcome everybody to part two of our Cornish Quest experience to West Cornwall Golf Club. Indeed. This is hole number seven. Just and, as the uh, train screeches to a halt. The train screeches to a halt over there and the uh, <laughs> little, uh, little wish, uh, do you anyone know what that station is? It's the Lamp, isn't the it? The Lamp, I believe, or yeah, that's the Lamp station. The Lamp Saltings? And uh, the Lamp Saltings, saltings that's the one. Yeah. Just, yeah. just for our uh, train loving um, watchers. Yes. Simon. Harry Golfer, he'll be on it. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of birdie watchers here as well, aren't they? So, well, yeah. I've, I've discussed that in the other video. We are near the, uh, well, this is the, the estuary and it's kind of a uh, fantastic bird watching experience actually over there. The Birdies Beast are over there to the right and the Key House to the left. Birds there you Beast, go. Uh, do a lovely breakfast there as well. See, this, this is Nick's area, honestly. It is, I know, he, so, he knows it. We are currently. We're currently level par, level. playing a scramble, the three of us. Nick well, is. Yeah, we say we're on playing a scramble. Fire. We're playing uh, Nick's solo game with a couple of shots from me and Neil. <laughs> yeah, fine, that's fine. It'll all change. It'll all change. So we're on the seventh hole, 184 yards par three. Yep. We're playing back over a public footpath that runs through the course. Um, green slopes right to left, tricky hole to play. Yeah. Should we, uh, we hit up? We hit up, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Come on, mate. You set up. We are running and gunning today with one camera because it's a very busy course, even though it's early in the morning. So uh, we're going to do our best today. Oh. I normally hit a 50% driver. Very happy to go left of the flag. Yep. It's a tricky hole. Um, tricky green. I've seen people three putt, yeah, no, four putt, five putt on this green. It can be. So in the summer. I had an eight here the other day. <laughs> I'll be happy up there on the left hand side of the green anywhere. Well, that's pretty good. I think on the right hand side, which is where you want it, on, little Paul. bank, big banks. Yeah. It's going to be up there and thereabouts, isn't it? It's yeah, it's there and thereabouts. So, would have been happier 10 yards to the left, to be honest. Well, we're up there. Well, Neil's boomed it out on the right. right today. That's going a bit right, mate. That's no good. Definitely leaking it out a bit. Neil, take my putter. I've still got my putter on because that's the, the green we've just finished where Nick did a fantastic shot. So if you've not seen part one, go back and watch it. Just go back and watch the last putt. <laughs> or, or a nice little iron that I hit in, or a nice putt that I did on the second. Come on, I got something in this. So, slight delay because, like I said before in the other video, the triangle is a bit quirky. We've got people who are going to now tee off on the fifth and they tee off over our heads, which will be near the green of this hole. So, when you come here, this, you've got to kind of watch out for these holes. So, Hello. anything else it, to say, mate? Well, I say Ian in the pro shop when he's in, he gives you a very detailed bit of a spiel about you know the way the course runs parallel few he holes does. run along each other with no break in the middle so i say it can be a little bit dangerous at times balls flying but yeah you still have to watch kind it. of the nature of a smaller lynx course i mean we're, we're only what is it um off the yellows it's 5600 yards so it's not yeah. the longest course in the world the thing is after this hole it kind of opens up the whole course yeah. kind of opens up um and then it becomes a totally different animal it does, yeah. But you, your game can be killed in the first six or seven yeah, holes here. Yeah. I usually find the back nine easier. Definitely. Hopefully. So we're just walking onto the back of the green. You can see another four ball just walking across, such as the nature of this hole. Uh, we've taken Nick's, obviously. Uh, he's just on the edge of the green. It's going to be another tricky putt, Nick. It's going to be one of those scary ones because this green can sweep all the way down normally into that bottom corner if you get it wrong. And then it's going to go down, if he gets it higher back. Oh, he Bass. didn't take the ridge. Oh dear. Sorry, Oggy. Oh, no, why? Don't apologise to me, mate. You're doing fine. Without you, we'd be nowhere on this hole right now. Or even on this round. Never apologise. It's just golf. Ooh. Ooh, see what I mean? It's all about the pace. Yeah, it's all about the pace. Okay. To be honest, getting inside that, which is probably about 15 feet, is actually still pretty good, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Now you know why I like to just come and pick the ball uphill from down here. Yeah, yeah you need an uphill putt, don't you really? Uh, that's so difficult. Nice. 
think he's on the right hand, Jeff. Well, I'm inside 15 feet. Yeah. That's that's definitely wide enough to be the putt. Yeah. Yeah, there's about 10 ish feet. Yeah. And it's going to be well, left to right, isn't it? Yeah, it's not an easy one. I mean, sure you got on here the day eight? Yeah. Yeah. Mark that one, John. We'll leave it. Leave it there, actually. I can leave it. We know. We know where it is. I'm going to go. I'm going to go in off. Very relaxed about. Well, going off, but we're, we're very. Are you allowed to go in off on the ball? No, not obviously. Uh, from on the green, you can. No, no, not even on like this. Can Neil finish it? Nice, that's very nice. Oh, oh the same thing. Well, tap it in. We'll take a four and actually be happy with that. Yeah. So it can, it can be a tough hole. It is a it tricky par three. Chance on the next one, though, it's not the longest uh, par no. four. No, uh, we've got big boys hitting. Okay, Neil, we're on hole number eight. Yeah, 319 yard par four. Yep. Quite a straightforward hole, really. It is, um, yeah. You've got OB down the right. You've got a double fairway to play down. A nice little point. Yeah, you've got a marker point to go over. You've got a nice little cluster of like around the green area, which is it is a nice hole. Yeah. That bunker on the left, though, is it can be. It tricky, can catch especially it. if you're coming in from the left. So again, if you've not played this course, be a bit wary because there is a tee box when you're coming bouncing down yeah, off you're, the. You're playing top parallel to the fourth. So. Yeah. And Carry Nick's, on, mate. Nick's ready on the tee. Didn't see it, you tell me, I was looking somewhere else. Right. right and bouncing right. Over the top? Yeah, over the top, but it okay. uh, could be quite close to the hedge, you know. Okay, over the top is key, obviously, so you get a, a shot in. Oh, well played, Neil. Oh, very good. Well played. Very so slightly right to left, which is yeah. fine because they're all sweep left to right when it hits the ground. Down nicely. Yep. Yeah, good shot. So, very quickly, this is that tee box I was talking about. Nick's just going to get his ball. We're over the other side of the ridge now. now. We're here because Neil is there, right on the edge. Very good shot, mate. Like we said, it kind of cascades down the bump, yeah. doesn't it? If you get the right bump, that's it, it yeah. well. And it's, it's about plotting a lot of this front line. Absolutely. You can't just hit driver everywhere. That, I mean, that was a hybrid, which, yeah. Certainly in these conditions, I mean, I, oh, definitely, yeah. I, I use a driver, but I shouldn't, I must admit. As long as you can get over that marker point, yep. it will roll and cascade down the slope. At the moment, you've got like 20, 30 yards of extra run as well. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. We keep going, gentlemen. Good chance here. Yeah. Just nip it down if I can. There's a bit of a slope, which you'll see in a minute, because I'll putt it down the slope. Very nice. Kick forward. Oh, it moves on again, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, we'll, well see. see where you can go. Still not a stone cold birdie, though, but no. still chances. Nick's going to putt. Quite a common idea to be putting on yeah, things yeah. like this or playing long hybrids, etc. That's too hybrid putts. Uh, too far right, rather, sorry. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, you need to go much, much further. How, yeah. yeah, how far do you need to go? Right out to the left. Well, I think you've almost got to go Blue marker. close to the bunker or something. Yeah. Blue yeah. You want to go, but you can't. You just, your mind just wants you to take you there. Exactly, yeah. Okay, if I throw a ball there, Neil, that's it. Well, yeah, I'd just like to know. Yeah, take it on. So. Yeah, that would have been the shot, wouldn't it? Oh, that goes down that way, though. <laughs> <laughs> nice putt, though. Nice putt. Oh, oh Neil. What? I thought it was oh, in. I thought that was in all the way. Yeah, great effort. Okay. Jeez. I'll get down the other end. Straight. Get in. Oh. oh.
Yeah, sorry. Didn't load up probably, lad. No, right, it's all right. I'll take the par, though. It's still a par. Almost feel there was a shot left there, but... Yeah, there's a there's birdie chances on this hole, isn't there? Especially with Neil's okay. drive. And it's going to be a tough hole next. Yes. Serious par four now, up the hill. Oh, so, ninth hole. 398 yard par four. Probably the longest 398 yard par four in Cornwall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I've, I've hit driver three wood and still not got there before. Yeah. All Long uphill hole. to a plateau green. Yeah. It's just it, looking up there, it just looks nice now because it's starting to burn out a little bit. Well, it's starting to get that like say, It's color. starting to whiten now, isn't it? Looking good. Yeah. So, we're going to set this up and see what you all do. Yeah, you feel you need to hit harder than you want, don't you? Because you've just got to get up there. But. It's a danger. Yeah, that's lovely. Okay. Nice and steady. Yeah, We've nice got one up there. That's okay. Yeah. It's going to bounce a little bit left yeah. to right. If you've not played much links, everything tends to sweep towards the sea. Oh, Lovely. Hole, this great. is this is this is a hole designed for Neil. So we're going to carry on. Uh, so Neil, we got a distance. One thirty. One thirty. Bit of a valley, so we've got to kind of get it up there. Yeah, you've got you, to keep it left here because everything yeah, just runs I was going to say, lift it left because right is just, well, just not good. Look at it. There's even actually a bunker in that lot as well under that side, yeah. which I have found before. If you hit it left, it can cascade down. If you're slightly short onto the green, Yeah. don't hit it long enough, it'll be back down to the bottom of the valley. Might not be the longest course, but it's tricky. It really is. Wrong way. Uphill. Yeah. Right at it. Oh, I think it's a good shot. Mate. I think that's a good shot. Well, he's up there, yeah, isn't stay, he? Stayed up. Well played, Neil. We're all going to have a go at this and then uh, yeah, see what's closest. Like, I mean, I've got a rescue which seems ridiculous from 130 yards. Yeah. But 50% of it, I don't fancy hitting a six iron or seven. No, iron. no. That's the thing. If, you, if, if, well, certainly like me, you got to, you got to use a. Well, I try and bring him five from or left, something takes, to get up there. It's going to shoot over the back, isn't it? And the distance off it. You need to drop it in, don't you? Yeah. Or not. Or you. Or, or you do that. That's fine. Well. No, it happens, mate. Hey, you don't do everything. You've done everything so far. That was the worst shot of the day. So, well, yeah, but you got some crackers already. So <laughs> Good start. That's going to run in nicely. Oh, I've got to the very top, but there's still a bit more of a yeah, little run up thing to go, isn't there? So hopefully Neil will be closer. So I'm one. very pleased with that. Oh, it's a T Neil. Oh, thanks. I do give him back. You're learning. Okay, Neil, so we took yours. Mine was just slightly short. Yeah. Neil's is just on the very just edge. Happy to get it around the green on this side. Nice. That's nice and steady, that's all we needed. Beautiful day. Oh, they're narrow bites. We're all there narrow bites, don't we? Someone finish off. Yeah, it does matter. Oh, oh, finish off. Turn ready, Tom. Put me on camera. So, do grab those balls, Neil. And we'll uh, go back down the slope to the tee for number 10. That was a par. We're still one over against the course. That's an index one hole as well. Yeah. So, that's yeah. a great par. Hardest hole on the course. Tough hole. So, I'm just going to stay up here, which is the uh, ninth green. I'm going to walk over the back to a, a ridge where the marker point for the 10 is, uh, because we want to see where the other people have finished on the other side. So the lads are going to tee off. I'm not going to be need on this one as long as they get over the top. That's why there's a fence here as well. 
to the people teeing off there on the 13th. So that's where the lads are teeing off. I'm going to swing this round. That's the marker point. That's the tee box we're going to go to next. And that's the green we're working on. So Neil, we've taken your shot. You ended up near the tee box for the next hole, which yeah. is again why I was up on the top of the hill yeah, instead of actually filming the tee shots. They're very sort of close to landing there in the tee, so... The, they do have a, a dinger over there, but no one seems to be using it. No. Uh, so again, it's, it's handy if you've got someone kind of up there to spot what's going on, really, for this one. But um, not a bad shot. No. On the edge of the rough. Pin well, yeah. well, or you could have hit the ball straight. We could have hit the ball straight. Nick, Nick was in a bit more of the rough over there. Yeah. But again, a bit of a blind shot. So we're going to set this up and show where we are. 84, that really lovely yardage. What distance, Dill? 84. 84. Let's go, waiting for it to land. Frontier. Yeah. So two of us are on the green, like we said, hit the danger. One, two, three, four, five. There's actually another one, six. Is there one at the back as well? There's definitely six bunkers. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you got six there. Yeah, serious. And serious hole. deep pot bunkers. And they are deep. Oh yeah, we don't mess around here where's Corbel. No, no. Go on. Very good. Nice and steady that. Wind's picking up, isn't it? You noticed? It's a little breeze up there. Yeah, kind of cooling the day off a little bit, but it's still sunny out there. Make sure you've got your sun lotion, everybody. I have, and it's in my eyes. <laughs> I thought you was just a bit emotional, Nick. Yeah, I thought you were getting all set, mate. Playing golf would be normally has that effect. Go on. Oh. oh. Do you know, I thought that I'd get a little whack as well. Very good. It's getting a much bigger whack than you think. Yeah. Well, you're there and there back, lads, so give it a whack, Go yeah? Go along, go along. Sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. Tap it in. Yeah, someone tap it in. Tap it in, Nick. Let's, let's have another par. We're very happy. Happy with a par, are we not? We are, yeah. So, Neil, we're on... Well, Eleven. I love this hole. Eleven. Eleven. 350 yard par four. Yep. But again, it's it's a longer hole. It plays longer than that yardage. Yeah, it's a tricky one, isn't it? Yeah. Your fairway goes out, you dip down. Into a valley. Into a little valley, then you come up the other side and you've got... Well, it's just protected. It almost feels by. like there's a little castle and a bit yeah. of embankments to go. Yeah, you're protected around there in the green. You've got a bunker just short left, which is a big, deep bunker. Yeah, it's not yeah. the easiest par four in the world. No. Do you, the, the whole point is, do you hit it big? and go end up down in the valley? Or do you hit it to the top of the crest and try and go over the valley on the second I shot? I normally try to get in the valley because I know I've got 105, 110 okay. yards, but... We'll see how it goes. Especially with a little bit of breeze in. Okay. Oh, That's an excellent shot, Nick. Nick. Excellent shot. It'll be on the top level still, but that's okay. Uh, nice bounce. It nice it. View of it, isn't it? They do slip a little bit to the right here. Yeah. Um, but that's very good, very good. Neil takes a rescue club and well, goes 40 yards matter. past me. Got to go straight first. Don't use peer pressure, mate. Don't go, oh, he's taking the driver, I've got to take one. He's taking that, you know. Play your own game in golf, that's what I think. Yeah, Leaked it. it to the right? Yeah. Okay. The train put me off, mate. I heard a hooter. <laughs> oh, so I mix in a prime position there. We're, we're all good. Look, see, still going. 
and I'll remember that driver. <laughs> Thank you for that comment. Yeah, that's the first time Hooters have ever put me off. Well, uh, no, I've, I've, yeah, I've frequented, I dare say, on a few times. I've met a few of them ladies. Yeah, another yeah. business, another life. So, um, we're going to pick my ball up as it's scattered on the ground. And we're going to go find Nick's, I think, probably in prime position. Yeah, Nick's is in a great place. Mine's just leaked right. We have. Hang on, I, I, will, I will return. You will? Go on. I'm going to film Mr. Train Driver. There he is. Come on, come on, come along. There we go. Right by Nick, look. See? Nick, give him a wave, mate, on the way. <laughs> T tell him he put me off. <laughs> there we go. Right, we'll go and find Nick's. Okay, Nick, so yeah. we got to reckon 160. Yeah, you can either try and go left and get it down that slope bound so you can go straight for it. Yeah. But if you go off to the mist to the right, you're down a bit of a nasty slope. Yeah. yeah. Just get it over the ridge, that's the important thing, over well, the valley. It is. If you're a little Steve, who haven't been on channel for a while, miss you, little Steve. Uh, he'd be playing down the path, wouldn't he? Bouncing yeah, down he the does. path. Oh, oh that's, that's the problem. In the valley. That's okay. That's oh, okay. Wow. That, look, right at it. Oh, what on that's right at it. That's like a heat seeker. Yeah, nice little front left. And... I think that's, that's there and thereabouts, mate. I'm going to have a, I'm gonna have a hit for fun, I think. Seven wood, lads, off a of high ground. Oh, dude, I've got it there, but it's a bit left. You're over there. You're yeah, over there. Nicely. Nice strike, I might use it again in a minute. Nice strike. Yeah. Well done, Neil. Well done. Two inches to the left, Neil. So, Neil hit a great shot. Yeah. Great shot. Yeah. And uh, we're on the green, which is where we want to be. Long part. Nice pace. Mm. Started left and stayed left. Yeah, yeah, this is too much. Good roll, Nick. Yeah, that's that's a good one. It's definitely a hole where you walk away with a par and you smile. It's, it's tough. It's tough. When you're coming in. Over there. Well done. And Nick tapped in. Another par. Another par. You crack on to the big, well, the first of the five par fives. Yeah, we've got uh, one hole left on this. That'd be quite a nice little finishing hole for this section. I think so. Yeah, the 12th. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but John has just jumped in with Nick, so I'm free to say what I want. Um, it's always a tough hole, that one. Um, so this course, you don't really need to hit driver off every tee. Plotting yourself away, plotting yourself around is probably key. Now heading up to, I think it's probably one of the most photographed points of the course where uh, a lot of people tell John always takes his selfies up here. So head on up. It's a good par five now. Playing down, downhill two-tiered fairway from top to bottom. Let's see if we can get a birdie, see if we can get get that one shot back so we can we can get back to level par. GoPro stop recording. GoPro stop recording. GoPro stop recording. GoPro. It doesn't listen to Neil, it's my video. <laughs> GoPro stop recording. GoPro just stop recording. Go Am play, stop recording.
Hello up there. Uh, yeah, it's very windy, Neil, yeah. so shout. 481 yard par five, not the longest, but as I was describing on the way up, you got your tears going down towards the green. Yeah, great hole. Let's get a birdie. Best, best view of this whole course, one of the best views in Cornwall. Best views, isn't it? Stunning, isn't it? Fantastic. Eh? You good to go? Yeah, yeah. Probably not going to be able to show the shot tracer on this. We'll do our best. Strange angle because I can't get behind with the camera. Yeah. Oh, feed, feed yeah, no, we're good. Okay. The other issue here is there is another green here, so you want to kind of get your shots away before they get on the green, just in case. That's the other par five, and we'll see that in a while. In video number three. Make sure you watch video number three. Strike, Neil. Yeah, great strike. We go from there. That could almost be over the top. You That's never right. know. Well done, mate. Dangerous, well done. Rough over the top. Yeah. Oh, I, I see you back again. I'm back, Neil. Yeah. yeah. It's just like a taxi rank. I jumped in whichever was the closest to the start. Yeah. Um, I don't know what you said. Hopefully, it was very complimentary, as always, because you're a lovely man. Well, I, I do try. So uh, I've got a speed restriction here. You, going you down have the hill. a very slow speed restriction down the slope. Um. I think that was a very good drive, my friend. We're going to find out. It's the best of the day. Best of the day. That's put what we put, wanted. Put a little bit of juice behind it, so hopefully, um, hopefully if, we can find it because there's a tear that goes off the end. And yeah. it's, um, if it's just dropped off the end, that's not good because we'll be no. in some horrible rut. But no, we'll, we'll, we'll see. see. How... Fingers crossed, everybody. Yeah, Fingers yeah. crossed. GoPro, stop recording. Now this is very windy. I'm on the edge of the plateau. Oh, that... Neil says going down right down to the middle of the fairway way away from where we are so you think you've seen the ball nick's walking back up nick's is on the middle of the fairway on the plateau so we've got a decent shot this is a not the place to end up i mean you shouldn't lose your ball middle, almost the middle of the fairway with a good drive really yeah. isn't it? I mean, it'd be going to punish you a little bit maybe for a light rough to get out of it yeah drive like that not to lose I mean, that's a fantastic driver neil's well this is where my boy was saying the milesy is better than the watch because my watch said the camera's going to be more accurate. Mine said 225. Yeah, okay. I got 240, so... so... We're going to find out. So we've yeah. taken Nick's because we can't find Neil's, which is a real shame right now. You won't see where we're going, but it's over that marker post, we're going to get a lot closer. Well, we need to go to the right of it. Almost aim for that bunk on the right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he swept oh, it to the left. Hold it a little bit left. Uh, the green, if you want to see, if you can kind of see on the camera, there's a green hut above, and that's a that's the tee where we're going to be off next. So that's kind of above the right, that waste bunker. where yeah. our green is we're playing for. Too far right. That looked very good. That looked very good, mate. Interesting to see what's up with that. It's doing the wall of death, so... It's doing the wall of death, around the edge of the... Around the edge of the back of the green. Oh, I'd probably be able to camera on that. Yeah. So you don't need me, really, so I'll just put it apart this. You're being a bit, you're being a bit risky, sticking there, mate, I'll tell you, is it? Right. <laughs> good shot, Oscar. Not bad, though, is yeah, it, eh? Pretty good. Oh, pretty good shot. Yeah. Really nicely. Right. Well played. If only you actually needed me, lads, because I think Neil's done a cracker. John. Yes, mate. Can I just disturb you a moment? You, I'm what, very disturbed. What, what is in your pockets? What, jelly babies? No, no, not jelly babies. Uh, sunglasses? No. Come on. There you go. No, you only use green ones. I know. Well, I picked them up on the way round as I'm filming. So. No, they're not all yours. No, they're not. No. I was going to give them back on the next tee. Yeah. In all right. My bit okay. of editing footage now. Ah, oh, sorry, Neil. You tea leaf. Tea leaf, exactly. I'll put the sunglasses on. The incognito now. Okay, okay. There you go. Neil, what a jelly baby, mate? I know. What you got? Trail mix. Yeah. Oh, I've gone for the Steve Treby jelly baby. I noticed. I did. I forgot he actually eats them. But Ooh, on the a red one. Yeah, on the film, uh, the last films we just did at Trafford. Mm. 
on the Treby cam, I know it's it's Steve was doing Jelly Babies. Hope he's sponsored by Jelly Babies, that'd be a very nice idea. He was doing Jelly Babies? He was. That sounds like uh, some sort of a... Mate, there, there's no um... Oh, I found one black one. One oh. black, one black Jelly Baby. Oh. Lots of multicoloured Jelly Babies, yeah. of all varieties. All, all types, all colours, all flavours. Yep. Not necessarily all genders, but all varieties. Should we carry on? Let's, or dig let's a deeper carry hole? On. Let's, let's carry on, yeah. Let's carry on. Great shot, mate. I don't know where it is. Well, though. it's going to be near and near enough. Oh, I think I can see it. Okay. It's all right. But have a look. So again, this is where we've come from. This is the green. My ball was just down here on the right. It's a very good shot for me, to be honest. Neil's is just over the back onto the slope. It's kind of like I said, a wall of death goes around the slope. Obviously close. I'm going to put this down. Hold. Did everything you could to hold that ball and it did not hold. That's a shot, that's a shot. Come on, down the slope. Oh, that was the shot, that really was. That's lucky. I've got a putter in 58. Well, you know where 58 is going, don't you? My shins. Past your, past your red. Come there, a little bit like a steam train, a little bit quick, leading down that slope. Pretty straight right lip? Yeah, yeah, I don't think you got anything more than right lip on that. Didn't turn us off. The clanking behind is the lovely drink. Whoa, what? What? Straight at the middle. Straight at the middle. I use that line, it didn't look didn't look anywhere like where I need to put it. <laughs> okay. Finish off gentlemen. Bit of a shame. Finish it off now. Is that a par? That's a par. That's a par. A bit disappointed, yet. but hey. Okay. So, tricky tricky shot to deal with when uh, Neil had that on the slope. So if you took a less club, Neil, you we carry on. Well, you know. Good hole next, hopefully. I think it's Neil's favourite hole, if I remember rightly. 13th, yeah. The 13th. You won't say what he actually did on his favourite hole, but it's a very favourite hole. Well, just before we go to 13, should we end this video? Yeah, go on. Do that. So, let's end part two. Um, on. Thank you to West Cornwall Golf Club. I say myself and Nick's home club. Um, yeah, we fit into a busy course today. We're doing all right. We're dovetailing nicely with the groups in front and behind. We are. But yeah, thanks to West Cornwall Golf Club, Gareth, Secretary, and all the uh, all the members here as well. Remember the staff here on now. Oh, thanks. All right. You can have that lot, okay? Don't say I don't have to give you anything. I've got one of yours there, I'm keeping Yeah, exactly, it's fine. I'm generous to a fault, mate. So, we're off to uh, part number three? Yeah. Come over and see us on part three. Please do. You can go down here. We're going. Right. Do you have anything else to say? No. No? No, I think that's it. That was so unprofessional. It's very good. We tried our best. <laughs> take two, take three. Take three. <laughs>